Speaker Paul Ryan did a town hall event with CNN last night. Nobody really knows why. Uh, and he spoke about Trump and the deficit and the convention and a million other things. But one line sticks out to me specifically. This is one that just gets under my skin. Uh, he said the Democratic Party has moved, quote, far, far, far to the left. And he says, well, now they're unreasonable and they're unlike what they were in the 1990s. So it's hard to work with them when they're so extreme. In fact, we have video of it. Let's watch. You were asked yesterday um, if you could work with her, and you said there's very little common ground between the GOP and the current Democratic Party. Are you saying you're not going to be able to work with her? Well, I'll, I'll certainly try. The point I'd say is this is not the Democratic Party of the mid-1990s. This is not the Democratic Party of budget, of balancing the budget and welfare reform like we got in 1997. This is the liberal progressive party of Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and yes, Hillary Clinton. I think Hillary Clinton is, is, a, is a very liberal progressive. They, they have moved far, far, far to the left. And so in the 1990s, there was a little more overlap between the two parties and more room for common ground. So I do not see the kind of common ground with the liberal progressives like we had with the Democrats in the 1990s. I, I don't like saying this. I wish it weren't the case, but sadly, I think it is. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. So this Democratic candidate, who is now going to lead the party, supported the Iraq War. Is that a really liberal progressive idea? The Patriot Act. NAFTA. TPP. And deregulation. I have a hard time finding areas where Hillary Clinton was actually liberal. She, on so many issues, just completely agreed with the Republicans. Completely. Not even, hey, I'll meet you halfway, this and that. No, no, she just agreed with you. It's never enough. It's never enough. Oh, oh no, even when you agree with us, exactly, I'm going to say you don't agree with us. Why? Because you're a Democrat, so there's a D in front of your name, therefore you're the bad guy, therefore we make up this narrative in our own mind that's not connected to reality at all, that says, oh my God, you've moved so far left. Now, what's really happened uh, over the years? The Republican Party has moved insanely far right. This is a party that, it's not, it's, it wasn't always the case like, oh yeah, no, we support offensive wars, wars of aggression. No, but that was the Bush doctrine. Offensive wars. Let's, let's, let's be the, let's attack first, let's not do self-defense for wars. That's insanely right wing. Then also, obviously, they set up torture. They did torture, man. And he's saying, it's not us that have gone too far right. It's the Democrats who have gone too far left. Of course, they set up, uh, you know, the NSA and the, the spying regime. Forget your Fourth Amendment rights. They're gone. This is a party that didn't always support uh, privatizing Social Security. Eisenhower said, if you disagree with the New Deal programs, that's un-American. Well, now you have the entire Republican Party's like, we disagree with the New Deal programs. They want to privatize Social Security. They want to privatize Medicare. And the only kind of welfare they actually do believe in is corporate welfare. So this is a party that is so insanely far right. And many of them are just outwardly fascist. They're outwardly fascist. Some of them are Christian theocrats. You know, uh, this is... They're not remotely connected to the real world and the wants and the needs of the American people. But he has the nerve to go out there and lecture this Democratic Party, which has creeped right over the years, and say, you haven't moved right enough. And then also, by the way, he goes on in that clip to give specific examples. So you heard one there. He said, you know, this isn't, this isn't the Democratic Party of balancing the budget. Okay, you do know that George W. Bush left for the deficit. So the budget is the accumulation, uh, or I, I'm sorry, the debt is the accumulation of, you know, the individual deficits. The deficit is annual. But George W. Bush left when he left office. It was a $1.4 trillion deficit. What did Obama do with that? He more than cut it in half. It has gone down the years he's been in office. So he is reducing the deficit, but they don't care about facts. He's like, I'm just going to say that you don't care about that stuff. Dude, the Democratic presidents have been better on that issue than the Republican presidents. 
Ronald Reagan, record debt, record deficit. George H.W. Bush, record debt, record deficit. Ooh, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton actually left us with a surplus. So we eliminated the annual deficit and made it a surplus. That's better than you guys. George W. Bush blew it up. Barack Obama's making it better. The Democratic presidents are better on the issues that you say you care about than you are. And then he also goes on at one point to say, this party's too extreme. They did Obamacare. Are you that ignorant or are you just a liar? That's my question to Paul Ryan. Because Obamacare, it's an individual mandate reform. Individ the individual mandate was birthed by Richard fucking Nixon. So it was Richard Nixon's idea. He proposed a very similar plan. And then later on you had Bob Dole propose a very similar plan. And then also you had the Heritage Foundation, which is a right-wing think tank, write policy papers about how they support an individual mandate system, which is Obamacare. And they say, well, this is our counter to the Democratic proposals, which at the time were more like single payer. Like every other modern nation has, to one extent or another. So, this was the right-wing free market health insurance reform that they came up with. Newt Gingrich supported this in the 90s. Chuck Grassley did. Super conservative, 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 deeply conservative Republican. Now all of a sudden that Obama does their idea, oh my god, this guy is so far left it's unbelievable. So far left he's doing your fucking ideas. No, you don't need evidence, you don't need data, you don't need facts to be Paul Ryan, to be in this Republican Party. They make up everything. They make up everything. This Democratic Party, I mean, the only people in the party, I mean, maybe it's Bernie Sanders, Alan Grayson, Elizabeth Warren, and some people in the Progressive Caucus, but it is a minority of the party that believes in traditional Democratic values, like single-payer health care, like universal education, like making the minimum wage a living wage. I mean, these are not things that are not that hard to figure out. Increasing taxes on the rich. You know, you talk to Democrats now, they'll say, no, 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 Obama did a good enough job. But no, if you look at the polls, the American people want to raise taxes on the wealthy more. And it's only a few people in the Democratic caucus, the progressive caucus, that want to go further here. So, we don't even, I'm not sure we have any real liberals in our government. Now again, they think that's fucking crazy. But what's my basis for saying that? You take Bernie Sanders and you put him in any other modern nation, the guy's a fucking centrist. He's a centrist through and through. He's not some sort of far left winger. But these guys, they don't just look at Bernie Sanders and go, oh my god, super far left. They look at Hillary Clinton and go, oh my god, so far left. What more can she fucking agree with you on for you to say, okay, you know what, kind of centrist. Or kind of in agreement with me, kind of right wing. There is no... Uh, amount of evidence, there is no, you know, data, there is no information that can change their mind. They already made their mind up. Democrats bad, Democrats far left, I don't need any more reasons, I don't need policy uh, positions, I don't need any of that stuff. I have my narrative and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> These guys, and people wonder, like, why do you go after the Republicans so, so aggressively? Because they say shit like this, which, uh, uh, a 10-minute Google search can debunk everything he says. The dude is Speaker of the House, and he has verbal diarrhea in front of the world where he says embarrassing things that could only have been birthed on the Rush Limbaugh show or the Glenn Beck show. There isn't a legitimate opposition in the United States of America. The Democratic Party is a shitty center-right, pro-corporate, pro-establishment party. I can't stand the Democratic Party. But the Republican Party is a bunch of toddlers wearing suits and ties who believe in ancient fairy tales, because a lot of them are religious fundamentalists, and they also believe in what, what George H.W. Bush used to call, believe it or not, voodoo economics. Which is, hey, always cut taxes on the rich, always deregulate, everything will work out great. That's the answer. Get rid of all the social programs, get rid of all the stuff that helps the poor people. Ugh, gross, poor. Who, who wants to help them? Uh, so do that and everything will be hunky-dory. So this is a party that in no way, shape, or form is connected to reality, and it's obvious to see when somebody like Paul Ryan says the party has moved far, far, far to the left. When in no way have they moved far, far, far to the left.